I'm DJ Michael Joseph, and on this Rewind Report... I take a look at a question that I get the most as a DJ and as a DJ and TV reporter, and that question is, MJ, how do you find and delete duplicate music files in your DJ music library? Well, there are many music programs out there like Music Brains Picard, Tune Up, Duplicate Cleaner Free, Similarity, and about a thousand others. But someone recently reminded me that Virtual DJ can do that also. Wait, before you say, I don't like Virtual DJ, or I don't use Virtual DJ, or I don't have Virtual DJ, or I won't pay for Virtual DJ just to find duplicate music files, I want you to know that what I'm about to show you, you can do with the free version. Keep in mind that Virtual DJ's library database management is one of the best out there. You can scan your music library and know everything that's there and make it searchable by any combination of parameters. First, we start out by looking at my library. This is my main music folder. I always recurse so that it knows everything in the file and everything inside that file. Next, we go to the filtered folder section. This is where you can create filtering folders that sort and show just about anything, but that's for another video. First, we start by adding a new folder called, you guessed it, duplicates. Now you have to give that folder parameters. As you can see, there's a lot of field options, but we need to just put in, you guessed it again, duplicates. And you see how quickly it gave you results. From there, you search by scope, folders, database, or folders recursive, which means you look inside the folders that are inside all those folders. And now you can start your compare and delete process, which includes sorting by title, artist, etc. It will find some duplicates just because one is an MP3 file and the other is a video file. You may want to keep both, but that's up to you. Then you will find other duplicate files of the same file type. Just right click on the file and open Virtual DJ's Tag Editor. There you can see exactly where each file is located in your laptop, the file size, file type, bit rate, actual file name, and a lot more. Now simply determine which one of the files you want to keep and delete the other by right clicking on the song, going to File Operation, then Delete, and it's gone from your library for good. Depending on how long you've had your DJ library and how well you've taken care of it, Getting it cleaned up may take some time, or you might find out that you have things more under control than you thought. Thank you guys for tuning in to the Rewind Report. If you haven't already, please click subscribe on the Disc Jockey News channel so you can stay up to date on all the videos as soon as they drop. And if you want to see more Rewind Reports, click on the playlist link. Until next time, this is DJ Michael Joseph saying take care and God bless.